Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to prepare band composite or how we can able to mosaic the band composite using Landsat 8 data that we are going to see. Before going to start a band composite, we need to download this data set. So how to download the data set? For that, you just need to go to UHS Earth Explorer. Search in the Google UHS Earth Explorer. So after that, you just need to log in yourself here. So if you didn't create your account yet, I will share the link in the I button from where you can able to access the video and you can able to create your account. So after creating your account, you just need to select a place. Okay. So let I will delete this. First, you will see the world imagery. And after that, you can able to search your address and place. So like here, I will search any desired location. You can able to search your study area here. So after that, you just need to click here. So once you'll go to that location, you can select area like this. Okay. So what are the area you have selected that will add here? Okay. If you'll remove from here, it will be removed. So after that, if you are having any coordinates, then you can able to add the coordinates. And after that, just need to select a date for which date you, you want to download the data set. So I will select the date from February to May. Okay. In between, I want any imagery. So just click on the data set. After selection of the data set, we just need to choose a Landsat data. If you want to download a Landsat data, then select a Landsat collection to level one. Just click here. After selection this, if you want to download the data set after 2013, then you can go with the Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. If you want to download previous data set, then you can go with the Landsat 7. So just click on the results. Then you will see the different different satellites is there and, and date is showing. So you just need to select a footprint, then it will show how much area it is covering. And after that, you just need to click on the show metadata. In the metadata, you can able to check your land cloud cover. So here you can able to see the land cloud, land cloud cover is very less. So you can able to download this imagery. Okay. So to download this, just click on the download options. And here you need to download. If you want to download all, then just need to click on the product option. And if you click here 1.14 GB, then your file will download. So all your file, all the bands, what are the bands are there? 11 band that all 11 band will download. So just click here. And it will start download below. Okay. So after that, what we can able to do, if your area is falling in two tiles, okay, this one and this one. So you can you need to download both the tiles. Okay. You need to download both the tiles. And after that, you need to mosaic all the two tiles. Okay. So before downloading, you should check your land cloud cover. So land, if your area is getting cloud, then there is no use of downloading the data set. So like that, you just need to check the metadata. And after that, you can able to download the data set. Okay. So after selection of this, after downloading this, I have already downloaded the data set. So once you'll click here, okay, then you will get this kind of file. Okay. For that, you just need to right click and extract file. Once you'll extract the file, you will see here, there are different bands are there. So band is nothing but the range of wavelength. So you'll see total 11 bands are there. If you want to know what is the band and what is this size, you can go to Google and search your Landsat 8 data set. In the Landsat 8 data set, you can able to see there are total 11 bands are there. And we need to combine these all bands to create a band composite. So 30 meter resolution is there for up to one to seven, one to seven band 30 meter resolution is there. And band eight is 15 meter resolution. And this band thermal band we are using for this band 10 and band 11 we are using for thermal map. 
So let will add this data set and then we'll create a band composite. So why this band composite is necessary? If you'll see this article by GIS Geography, I will share the link in the description box from where you can able to access this article. So they are given a Landsat 8 band and band combinations. So Landsat 8 band combinations, all the 11 band they are showing and 30 meter resolutions. After that, when you will come downside, then you will see the different different band combination are there. Okay, 4, 3, 2. So they selected a band 432, so it is a natural color composite. When you will select a band 543, then it is a color composite. When you will select a 764, then it is short wave infrared. So we need to select a different different band combinations, and from that we can able to interpret the things very easily. So in the raw data set right now, if I'll open it, so you'll see the bands are there. Okay, after extracting, you'll see the total 11 bands are there. So you just need to select an add here. Okay. We can able to add a band composite here, three band four, or we can able to select a multiple band by clicking on shift and we can able to add the band. Okay. So let will add by sequentially. So let I will add band one, then band two, band one, band two is the band three, band four, band five, band six and band seven. So this is 30 meter resolution. If you right click, go to properties, in the raster information, in the source, in the raster information, you can able to see all band one to seven is having a 30 meter resolution. And this band eight is having a 15 meter resolution. Okay, one five. So we are going to use the same resolution band that is one to seven band having a 30 meter resolution. So I will just select all the bands from one to seven. Then we need to go to imagery. Okay. So this option is there imagery. In the imagery, there is a option that is a process. In the process, there is a composite. So before creating a composite, we need to select all the bands and just click on the composite. So very fast composite is created here. If you we'll right click, go to symbology we can able to change a band composite like here i will select a five let i will select a four three and two so when i will select a four three two you can able to see this is a natural color composite okay so let here you can able to see the natural color four three two the natural color composite use a band combination that is a red four three green and two blue so in the Landsat, if you'll see the band four is red, band three is a green and band two is a blue. So we are providing a true information. Band four is red. So we are providing red to red. Band three is green. So we are providing band three as a green. Band two is a blue. So it is a natural color composite. Okay. So you can able to see the things. It is looking same as naturally what we are looking. Okay. So after that, this I don't want, so I can remove from here. Okay. After that, let I will select a five, four, and three. Okay. So I'm doing false color composite here. So in reality, band four is red, but I'm providing band five. Band three is green but I'm providing band four and band two is blue, but I'm providing band three. So what we are doing, we're doing false color composite here. So here also, if you'll see in the J geography, 543 is a color infrared in that what happened, whatever the vegetation area is there that is highlighted. Okay. So like, because chlorophyll reflect near infrared light, this band composite is useful for analyzing the vegetation. So what are the area previously we are able to see in the green portion, now it is in red portion. So we can able to interpret the vegetation area properly. After that, this area, this water body is easily interpretable. After that, we can also interpret the urbanized area here. Okay, so if you'll go here, 
then you can able to see this portion as an urbanized area is there. Okay. So here also you can able to see this is an urban area. So we are changing a different band combination to interpret the satellite image. So again, we'll see another band combination that is a 652. Then I will go 6, 5, and 2. So now you can able to see whatever the red area is there. Now it is converted into green. So this portion is agriculture land. Okay. If you are facing problem with that, you can able to add a background image here as well. So map, base map, you can able to add imagery here. So if I'll check and check, you can able to see this portion is covering as a agricultural land. Okay. Then different, different band combination we need to change. Like this area is for the urban area. Okay. So see, if I'll change the composite, that is a five, four, three, two, then this portion, this whitish portion, you can able to see showing an urban area. So this way very easily we can interpret the things using the background Google imagery. So similar way, we can able to merge two different data sets here. Okay. So if I'll add another data set here, so this image if I'll add, you can able to see this is downside. If your area is large, then you need to mosaic your imagery. Okay. So let I will select band two. I will add band two. Then I will select all the band from here and I will add here. Okay. So sequentially, I have selected band one, band two, band three, band four, band five, band six, and band seven. So just need to select this all the band by using the shift and left click shift and left click then again need to go to imagery click on the processing and again click on the composite okay so now it is properly coming so again we'll select a five four and three okay so now you can able to see there are two different composite image are there this I don't want, I will remove from here. So now these two different composite are there and that I'm interested to mosaic. Okay, mosaic means merging two or more satellite imagery we call as a mosaic. So we need to select this both the band, composite. After that need to go to processing and mosaic option is there. Once I'll click on the mosaic. So new file will add here as a mosaic. Okay. So see these two files is now merged into single file. So if I'll uncheck this, you will see this file is separate and both the file was separate and now we are merged two different data sets. And now from here also we can able to go to symbology and we can change the band composite five, four, three. So this way very easily we can able to create a mosaic and it is very easy in RGIS Pro. So if you are having any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, you can like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.